Welcome to the Longevity's Welding Channel. I'm Tim Robel, and today I'm excited to announce a brand new addition to the Longevity family, the Forcecut 42i. This brand new Forcecut has a whole new look and feel, starting with this brand new PT60 torch with a 20 foot lead. It utilizes a blowback design, which makes integration into the CNC process a snap. This machine is dual voltage, both 110 at 30 amps and full 220 at 40 amps. Comes pre-wired for the 220 plug and comes with this cool little pigtail that all you do is simply plug in your 220 plug to this and plug it right into the wall and it has auto set inside. It also has an auto regulator for the air and a moisture trap set up inside. Of course, I can't get enough moisture traps on a machine so I've located a couple externally also. The hand torch comes with a Euro Connect that makes hooking it up a snap. Simply just take this, insert it, and lock it down. And basically that's all you're looking at for setup on this machine. Uh, hook up your air to the back, plug it into the 220 outlet or a 110 of your choice, and this machine is set up and ready to go. From the side shot, you can tell we have a whole new look and feel of this unit. This machine just shouts quality through and through. With this machine, it has auto set for the air pressure. So feed the machine 85 PSI and it will automatically set the pressure needed for what you're cutting. Simply adjust anywhere between 20 and 40 amps on 220 and between 20 and 30 amps on 110. And that's really about all you have to worry about for this unit. See, we have the power on light. We have an over temp. Tip in air means that either your tip requires change or you don't have air pressure coming to the unit. So if I simply just un unplug the fitting here, you can see we have a tip air light that comes on. And if you're not getting a pilot arc, we simply have a light that comes on there. Simply this machine is really easy to use. For myself, I'm just gonna set it and leave it on 40 amps. We do have a run and a set switch. Go down and make sure you have air pressure, switch it up to run. Pretty much close the plastic cover and I'll just use the switch on the back to turn it off and on. For the back of the machine, here's the quick disconnect that you would normally use to hook up your air. And I've just plumbed it in to run a couple more water separators on the back of the unit. And we just simply have an off on switch, turn it on and she's ready to run. Force Cut 42i is rated to cut three quarters and to sever one inch. So here's a piece of one inch steel and we're going to see how she does cutting through it. We have just the smallest piece of dross or slag kind of hung up here on the end, so just go ahead and kind of knock that off. And that was more of me starting. When you want to cut something thick, you kind of want to come in at a torch angle and pierce the lower part first, and then kind of straighten everything up, come across your part, and then as, as you're getting to the end, you want to tilt it again to try to get down the, on the lower corner of it. As you can see, this is a 40 amp machine that just cut through one inch. Amazing. Here's something more appropriate. This is some eighth inch 1010 hot rolled steel. I have a machine set up on 40 amps and this is something more like what I would do in the shop. After spending a couple hours with this machine, here's my final thoughts. 
The updated styling and everything is nice. To me, this machine is going to be put underneath my CNC table and I'll use it both for manual and machine cutting. Uh, so switching out the torch with the Euro Connect, it's simply a snap. You just come in, loosen your Euro Connect, unhook your hand torch, hook in your CNC torch, lock it down. In the back, the new units are going to have a CNC port. Simply plug in your controller to your uh, torch mate to it. You've just went from a hand cutting machine to a CNC machine in 15, 20 seconds. Um, the cut capabilities of this machine with the hand torch cutting through one inch, which I consider to be super thick um, as a fabricator, I hardly ever see half inch that I'm using. So being able to sever through one inch and cut three quarters clean is a huge asset. We saw how quick the travel speed is on the 120 uh, 5000 hot roll. Um, pretty amazing. Talk about versatility. We have the pigtail here, so you're utilizing this unit, let's say, on 220 in your shop, or maybe your shop isn't available with 220, and you want something that works great on 110. Simply plug in the pigtail, plug it into the wall. You're limited to 30 amps, but with the cap uh, capabilities of this machine, that's still going to cut some pretty thick stuff. Um, I'll do more testing on that through the next videos. I will be doing several videos on this unit. I really give it two thumbs up. I think Longevity is going to sell a ton of these. So thank you for watching Longevity's Welding Channel. I'm Tim Roble, and I'll catch you here next time.